You're watching Viva. Today's episode is a rather sad one. Why? Because I hold the issue very close to my heart. I too attended a religious school when I was a child. I too understand firsthand how the safety standards at these religious schools, many of them unregulated, fall far below the safety standards of many of our institutions. Fire at religious schools in Malaysia, unfortunately, is not new. In 1989, 27 children died in a religious school in Kedah. In 1998, three kids died in Kedah as well. In 2013, a child died and two others injured in a fire. In fact, the story goes on and on until very recently, literally close to many of our homes in the Klang Valley and figuratively closer to our hearts, 20 children died along with their two guardians. They perished in a fire in the early hours of a Pusat Tahfiz Darul Quran Ittifaqiyah. And in this story, I want to frame it on how to make this a better note. Just this year alone, there has been numerous fires being reported at these religious schools and madrasah nationwide. Why are religious schools in Malaysia a fire hazard? An even better question that begs to be answered is what are we doing as citizens to stop this from happening? It's easy for us to blame the authorities. It's even easier for us to sit at our armchair and continue to debate the issue. But is it fair for me to ask you, my dear friends, on why are we not holding religious schools in the same standard that we do for other home-based centres like nursing homes or childcare centres or orphanages or even kindergartens. In Malaysia, our safety culture in this country is mixed. If you work in the oil and gas sector or in the airline industry, then the safety behaviour is considered by many to be extreme. Everyone in these sectors like onshore, offshore, crew, non-crew people are being brainwashed to eat safety, sleep safety, play safety, date safety. So many institutions plus private properties and even fancy condos are not even complying to the basic safety regulations. Some industries drive the safety culture home, others do not. And again, while we wait for authorities to solve policy and regulatory issues, let's be productive in our period of mourning of the 23 perished at Darul Ittifaqiyah. Safety starts at home, so let's start safety right now. Here are the five things that you can do right now. Number one, check your own house and grills and emergency exit. Ensure that the keys are very close by to your exit strategy. Do not prohibit your movement in your exit uh, a path. Make sure that the staircase and stairwells are clear of any hazard. Number two, educate ourselves and our kids and our housemates and anyone living with us on safety awareness. The concept of alerting everyone to make sure that they are aware of safety procedures is key. Again, you can start this right now at home. Number three, check all plugs in your house. Make sure all the kids that play with these plugs are steered clear of it. The fourth thing that you can do is that you can install smoke detectors at home. It only costs 30 ringgit per piece. Like my friend, she said that it's cheaper than buying a steak. It's not that hard. Of course, number five, buy a fire extinguisher keep it at home, test it periodically. These are the things that you can do even today. And as we go on and try to make sense of this tragedy that has befallen this country yet again, let's make do and make best of what we can. Stay safe. Al-Fatiha. I'm actually personally invested in doing this video. I was a survivor from a burning house uh, more than 10 years ago. My wife and I, uh, we were caught in a burning house. We barely made it out alive. My in-laws barely made it out alive. So from then point onwards until now, it's always a matter of safety at home. There's always an importance of 
uh, managing fire hazards at home. So I want you to watch this next video that I have. Uh, my colleagues uh, Lukman and Rizal, they have 10 pointers on how to make your house safer. Perhaps we can learn from this tragedy and if, and if anything at all, um, let's try to make our homes safer.